What is up, girly pops? This is for the ones who, you know, the dating pool kind of sucks right now. And maybe you would like to be in a romantic relationship, but just so many men sucks. You're like, what am I supposed to do? Well, I have the solution for you. Let me present to you book boyfriends. Hello everyone, my name's Emily, and today we're gonna be going over some book recommendations for people who wanna believe in love again. Maybe you're like, I want a little fun romance to read, I want a little romance I can swoon over, I have the recommendations for you. So but without further ado, let's get into it. Actually, quick, quick shameless plug, follow the Goodreads and Storygraph so you can see all my reviews and recommendations before they hit YouTube. But let's get into it. So right off the bat, number one, Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. This one is a high school romance. It's between two people who fake a relationship to make someone jealous. And there's a lot of banter and there's much, very much the friendship scheme of it. It's just so cute. Literally the entire time through this book, I was like, And then at the end, I was literally squealing because it was so cute. So if you're looking for a little cutesy high school romance with some little fake dating that just the cuteness is going to make you explode, this one's for you. I don't own the physical copies of all of these, so bear with me. Our next one, this one is the second book in the series. Um, if you know, you know, you might be seeing this and you're like, Emily, Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson is in a romance. If you read this book, you will believe in love again. Your standards will be so high, so high. Please don't read this book first. There's a lot of context. Read the Percy Jackson Olympian series and then the Lost Hero series. But this book just raises the bar for all significant others out there. Percy Jackson is a standard and so is Annabeth Chase. This is more of a you know you know type thing but let's move on our next one is beach Treat by miss emily henry this one kind of has it's an adult romance where these two people are at a lake house little lake town area they're both authors and they kind of write very different genres and they have this back going that they can write the other person's genre so what they do is they have all these scheduled they're not seen as dates, but they're basically dates where they can do research and learn more about the other person's genre while doing it with them. Our Miss Girl, Miss January is a romance author. Our guy Gus is a, I think he's nonfiction, mystery? It's been a little bit, but they, essentially they write very different genres and kind of over time we realized they used to be like, there was some academic rivalry going on. And as time progressed, they get to know each other a little bit more. We learn all about their family. And it's just so cute. This one has, I'm not gonna say it's sad, but because it has some sadder undertones to the sum plot, it makes the romance that much sweeter. And you're like, oh my gosh, I want to love. I love love. Beach read. Our next one is Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. This is potentially a like top 10, top five book of all time for me. This is about these two kids who they met at like a summer house. And like, it's kind of one of those things where like every summer they hang out and they become really best, like good friends. And they start to develop some romantic feelings as kids, but then something happens that causes them to break apart. And now they're reconnecting. And I love a good second chance romance when they're done right. There's just like so much hurt and angst, which makes it so much more fun and deeper if you're me. And it was just so cute. Literally everything about this is cute. I love Macy and Elliot with my entire life and you will literally be sobbing out of cuteness if you read this. Our next recommendation is The True Love Experiment by Christina Lauren again. And this was actually the sequel to The Soulmate Equation. Can you even see it right here? But this one is about this author. I 
think she's an author, who they want to use her to star in like a reality TV show for her to find love. And she like creates all these different boyfriends, like the bad boy boyfriend, the like chef boyfriend, like they're kind of kind of recreate those boyfriend tropes in their show. And it's about, you're gonna, you'll know this by reading the summary. It's about her and this producer who's helping run the show and how kind of they had this forbidden romance because obviously she's supposed to be finding love on the show, but they could end up connecting and they have like this attraction that they can't really deny. And it's just so cute. And it's so fun to kind of go through this like reality TV star side of it but she's also an author so she's like what is happening like this is what this guy ideally should look like but then kind of seeing how their story progresses and what they do to explore that just really is so heartwarming and the ending i literally was like you're kidding you're actually kidding read it our next recommendation is How to End a Love Story by Yulin Kuang. This is probably my favorite book of 2024. I know, I know. It is about, once again, people who kind of knew each other when they were younger. They didn't really have any like romantic interest, but they like knew each other. There was a tragedy involved that like really drove them apart. And now they're working together as adults. Helen is working as an author and Grant is a screenwriter. Fun fact, Yulin Kuang is actually the, one of the main screenwriters for Emily Henry's books. So she's helping translate all the books to movie and that's kind of what Grant's position is. So cool to see a screenwriter actually write about being a screenwriter, but essentially there's a lot of deeper connection between Helen and Grant because they had such a tragedy shared in their past and they like really butt heads and they don't get along at all, but they kind of work together through this tragedy and the trauma they both experienced from it it's just like such a deep book in my opinion it talks on really some darker subjects and it does have that sadness component sometimes when it has those other emotions it just makes the romance so much better and literally i was like this felt so real it didn't feel i'm all for like catering to the audiences but like this felt so real and i loved it highly highly recommend i don't think she has one book i want to read so many more go read it it'll be good our next book is probably my second favorite book of this year 2024 so far i hope this doesn't find you by ann liang it's about two individuals who are rivals this is truly i think the epitome of someone like they always say like enemies to lovers, people seeing you at your worst, but they, they're still loving you. Look, we're in the modern day world. We don't really have enemies. Really, not really. But something happens where all of the female main characters' emails get released and she like vents in her email draft. So essentially it's everyone truly seeing her at her worst and kind of working through that as being like maybe a little bit of a people pleaser trying to make everyone happy but now all of her dirty laundry's just aired out and kind of her how her and the male main character who's one of her rivals and she wrote a lot of nasty emails to him how they navigate that and it's just so cute it's on the same level of cuteness as better than movies i will die on this hill i literally then binge all of ann liang's books she i think i think there were four that i read literally back to back Back, so that's why I'm struggling to remember the characters' names just because I read them in such a small time period. But I also did another review on this, so if you read and you want to see on my review, check it out. But it's just so cute. It's literally so cute. I couldn't handle what was happening. Our next recommendation is Swear on This Life. This kind of has some very similar vibes to Love in Other Words, where it's two individuals who knew each other when they were younger. They both have very traumatic backstories and they end up getting separated and this is them kind of rekindling there was something separating them out of both of their control and he's an author well let me make sure i don't spoil anything okay i'm not he's an author and he rewrites like their entire childhood and she's like what are you doing this like why are you exploiting our childhood it brings them together so much to unpack 
with what they went through as kids together, so much to impact current day, where their feelings were, what they were never able to get out. There was a lot of like what ifs. This was a big what if book, which I loved. And it makes you, really makes you reflect and you're like, oh my gosh. I'm not saying lower your standards, ladies, but sometimes it's like, are these things worth, like, is this worth fighting for? But also be nitpicky and have your high standards, so. So good. Our next one is just a silly little romance. It's like another high school romance. It's between the soccer player and she's like the daughter of like, she's part of this like star family. They have like a, such a good reputation. Her brother's into football, her dad's the coach. It's one of those like town reputation things, I guess. And then she connects with their rival a rival quarterback for a different school. You can see where this is going. It has a lot of forbidden romance. And like for a high school romance, this was so cutesy and there was so much angst. And it was just like what they were willing to give up for each other. Oh my gosh, highly recommend. I really hope the book cover changes because I want to own this book, but I get freaked out when real people are on the cover, so. But such a fun little romance read it and then last but not least i can't not end with emily henry's book lovers this one is for the eldest daughters who feel like they have to do everything alone this is for the independent girlies who refuse to seek help this is for the girls who prioritize their career and sacrifice a lot of things in their personal life where they end up distancing themselves from others and sometimes they don't feel lovable this is for you. Nora Stevens is me, and I am Nora Stevens. Charlie's lovely, I love him. I just wanna dive into like, this is the story for people that don't feel lovable, they feel like the second chance, and you just need that win, and you're like, yes, I am lovable. And you deserve to be loved. I guess I'll tell you about the book. They're both in the writing industry. I think she's a publisher? He's an editor, I believe. Oh, it's just so cute. And it's also an adult romance, which is lovely. I just can't say enough good things about this. This book means so much to me. Like it's literally like, put it in me so I can absorb it and it can become me. <laughs> All right, let's get, let that weirdness go by. So these are my book recommendations, you guys. Go find yourself a book boyfriend because so many men are disappointing out there. If you want to believe in love again, if you want to read some cutesy romance, if you want to have the best time kicking your feet and squealing, check out these books. And let me know what you think. That's all I have for you. Like this video if you'd like a part two for more book recommendations. I can talk about this all the time. Comment below if you've read any of these, if you have any recommendations for others, if you want to believe in love or you're just feeling down about the dating pool. Cause you know what? I don't blame you. It's scary out there, very scary. And then if you'd like to see more videos from me, be sure to subscribe. We're in our book era and we're thriving you guys. I, reading is literally my safe haven and my escape from the scary reality we are in. I can talk about this all day. And if you choose to subscribe, make sure you hit that bell icon so you don't miss any videos from me. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys. Stay safe, keep your standards high. Read about fictional boyfriends who can't disappoint you because they're not real and they can't talk back to you and they can't go do heinous things. There are some scary book boyfriends that I've seen on the internet, but we're not gonna include those because they don't deserve to be mentioned. Anyway, we'll see you guys next week.